um yeah so going into the podcast we've been keeping some episodes live for people hello everyone and welcome to another episode of dr tosin's podcast and uh, if you're watching the podcast on youtube do not forget to hit the subscribe button and now onto the episode this episode we're going to be talking about how to win your day how to win your morning we're going to be talking about five steps and five techniques that high performance and high performance people over overachievers as we call them use to win their day if you've been enjoying the podcast do not forget to subscribe as always like like the podcast hit the subscribe button share it on all your show, social media platforms so going straight into our topics number one Number first steps that people can use will be the steps of gratitude. Now, gratitude has become something that has been synonymous with everybody. What does gratitude mean? I mean, the first way I put it to people is if you start your morning, when you wake up in the morning, I find out that statistics have shown that most people, you look at your phone first. Even before you look at your spouse or your kids, which is quite alarming, the first thing people go for is the phone because usually... Um, a big percentage of people set their alarms on their phones and they use that to start their day. So obviously, you've picked your phone immediately. One trick and technique would be to put your phone on the airplane mode so you're not hit with all the barrage of notifications from WhatsApp, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all those things that kind of hijack and swing you away from your day. So the simple trick to do is just start your money with a bit of gratitude. One thing I've learned from a chap called Brendan Bouchard is... I think he said he learned it from a chap called Wayne Dyer. So yes, passed on, passed on wisdom. You get up simply as you're putting your feet on the ground. You just say thank you, thank you, thank you. I mean, if you're a Christian, you can say thank you, Jesus, thank you, Lord. If you're Muslim, you can say thank you, Allah, or whatever religion you practice. Every religion has some form of gratitude in it. So say thank you three times. Even if you don't believe in God, just say thank you. Just start the day with gratitude because it sets the motion for positivity in the day. So try and eliminate the negatives. I mean, we all usually start with at what I'll call ground zero. If you're picking up your phone and, for instance, you are hitting yourself with the stresses and messages that kind of hijack your day, it kind of puts you in a negative balance. So you're already struggling. One of my mentors and chaps that I follow, Dr. Chatterjee, tells, it talks about the micro stressors of the day which cannot take the day away from you. So number one, starting your day well, one of the techniques is to practice a bit of gratitude. If you can start by saying thank you, thank you, thank you in the morning, that's one step to go. Another thing of gratitude is you could have what we call a gratitude list. Essentially, what it means is that you should just have like a journal, for instance, or a book where you just write down things you're grateful for. One of the popular things that's, that was popularized by um, Tony Robbins was um, the five minute or well, not the five, three minutes, writing three things you're grateful for. So using the journal as means you can write three things you're grateful for, three things that you will achieve in the day that will make your day a great day. And just write out three affirmations. I call it the three for threes. Um, if you want something similar, I've got um, a nine minute journal. You can get your copy on Amazon um, where I've put it out and laid it out for people where you can simply follow. It takes three minutes each in each section. So that's just nine minutes in the day. So you start your first 10 minutes of the day. One of the things I'll be mentioning down is the morning routine where I'll talk more about that. So going on. Number two. Second thing people do to help their day, to help win the day, is to do some form of movement. I always say move it. Um, when we say move it, this is not necessarily your exercise routine. It can be your exercise routine if you want, if you've got that time. But what I get from lots of my clients and patients that I see in my clinic is that, oh, doctor, I just don't have enough time. And I said, fine, yes, I, I definitely agree with you. There are some days I just roll out of bed and I'm literally rolling into the car, driving to work, sipping the coffee on the way, dodging traffic, whatever. But yes, a lot of people do not have that time. But you've got five minutes. Uh, think about the hacks and tricks. Uh, again, I go back to a very nice book by Dr. Chatterjee called The Five Minute Solution, where he you've got five minute chunks everywhere. We call it the five minute snacks that you can put throughout the day. So in the morning, you can start with some form of movement. If you do stretches or yoga, do it for five minutes. Um, one thing I've incorporated with my over 40 group of alpha males is 
we do push-ups so you can just get up and all it takes is one minute do as many push-ups as you can do if it's 10 if it's 15 5 it's 25 if you can go up to 50 by all means do that but well, doing a movement practice in the morning can help you so set out five minutes in the morning and a quick one is very simple run on the spot for 45 seconds rest for 15 seconds do jumping jacks for 45 seconds rest for 15 seconds do mountain climbers for 45 seconds rest for 15 seconds do push-ups for 45 seconds rest for 15 seconds and do squats for 45 seconds and that 15 seconds that is a complete morning move it routine and you've done in five minutes good get your heart rate up going it releases a bit of endorphins in the body sets you in the right mood for the day now from the books i've read and from people i've interviewed on my podcast and for different my different projects that i'm doing all high performers have this form of routine in their day they usually have some form of movement practice that is there. So I think it's become quite essential and it's all backed by science as well, where moving and having a movement practice helps you move your day. Number three, try and do something or read something positive in the morning. So again, this should form part of your morning routine. You can start with either if you want to read some inspirational or biblical quote, if you're a Christian, you can pick up the Bible and pick up something and read something in inspiration. If you've got a motivational book and you want to do something for that, again, all you have to do is five minutes, 10 minutes in the morning, read something in inspiration. Now, a neat and nice hack is what you can do is have some quotes pre pre-prepared the day before that can either be stuck on your phone, stuck on the mug of coffee that you have, or just something that gives you what we call an intention trigger. Intention triggers are simple tricks where you've stuck something on your fridge that gives you a lovely quote for the day or like something that says oh today is the beginning of the rest of your life live your life happily ever after those kind of things so it puts you in the right frame of mind for the day so you can do that by reading an intent something positive in the morning if it's a, if it's a piece of scripture in the bible or in the quran feel free to do that as well but try and read something positive in the morning getting your day straight and getting the day going. Now, notice I have not mentioned anything about social media or the news. My personal advice, stay away from the news or social media for the first hour of the day, minimum. I'll probably say leave the news till nine o'clock. What I've learned is that if there's any breaking news that you need to survive your day, you will get the message one way or another through your Facebook groups, through your whatsapp group someone will drop the message there for you but barraging yourself with all the negative thoughts and negative things that come through the news does not really help anyone yeah so yeah stay away from the news stay away from social media pretty much for the first hour if you can yes i do agree some people tell me that oh um they need to know the breaking news if they're walking into a meeting and money do not want to look quite silly i do agree with that but what I found out that usually most of the information you need to run your day, you probably already started or have. It's not what is on Sky News or on BBC that you're going to hear first. If you're hearing it on BBC, then it's probably too late for your meeting anyway. And that's my thought anyway. I might be wrong, but yeah, that's what I think. So, number four, have a morning routine. Now, I can't stress this enough. Having a morning routine is... It's almost automatic i mean everybody should have some form of morning routine if it doesn't if you feel it doesn't work for you fine but setting all these things in the morning is something that gets people going having a pre-plan the day before number one it eliminates the need for willpower number two it sets the intention right for the day i mean getting the morning routine you almost becomes automatic you start setting in habits because it helps you break bad habits that you might already started building so if you know already that in the morning you have to do a bit of movement practice you've got to be a journal you automatically know that the night before you've got to go to bed early yes i do get it sometimes even i myself i go through the whole you netflix and chill and binge watch a whole series and before you know you look at your time and it's like oh gosh it's 3 a.m what am i going to do we all fall prey to that but knowing that I'm, I'm going to do a morning routine gives me the trigger to know like okay tosin it's time to go to bed because you've got to put in the work the next day to help me keep positive so building a morning routine is out there i'll be doing a separate podcast and a separate video 
where I talk about my morning routines, who people have learned it from, how it's benefited me, and um, yeah, things that I have gained really from doing a good morning routine. So yes, number number four, have a morning routine. And the fifth one, sleep. Now everybody has been talking about sleep. I mean, if you've not got a video on sleep or you've a bed commercial talking about how good how good your sleep should be, oh, you should get seven to eight hours of sleep, then where have you been? So sleep has become quite important there. Um, people like um, Sean Stevenson with the book Sleep Smarter goes down and breaks it into simple steps of how important sleep is. Not only do you go undergo regenerative therapy during sleep, now that is when you have adequate deep REM sleep that you lay down your long-term memory. And this is also quite intentional and quite important for you. So having a good sleep not only makes you rejuvenated or, or refreshed for the next day, it becomes important in rebuilding your body and rebuilding your health. Um, it helps to also curb the mental fatigue. I suggest to people, if you are suffering from problems with sleep, it might be worth speaking to a professional about it. If you've tried all the over-the-counter tricks, there are lots of videos out there on how to get a good sleep, um, lots of tips and tricks out there. One thing I know for sure is things, if you have a, if you try and have like relaxing drinks like the Rishi mushroom drink, that helps very well to help curb sleep. And if you do can or you want to, you could also do magnesium salt baths or practice what we call the sleep hygiene. Um, if you live in the UK, if you type sleep hygiene into the NHS, it brings up a nice list of things that you should try and do. Cutting out caffeine, for instance, um, it says do not take caffeine before, after not before, after 2 p.m. For some people, I'd say, yes, that works fine. You might even need to cut it out a bit more. Um, others, I'd say, watch and see how your day goes. If you, if you need to have a cold shower before going to bed, try that as well. Exercising earlier, not more than four hours before you go to bed. No, not, sorry, not less than four hours before you go to bed to do like if you, if you need to get some exercise in and trying to not leave your meals late. So those are my five steps or five hacks that I'd say that you can use to win the day. And these are the five things that I've learned from high performance. Number one, practice a have a gratitude practice. Number two, movement. And um, number three, read something in positive in the morning. Fourth thing is have a morning routine. And number five is sleep. Do your, do, do practice, have a sleep routine that works properly and you can try and impl imp implement. If you are struggling with sleep, like I said, try and see a professional, speak to someone about it. If you do need help, there are lots of videos out there that talk about how well you can sleep, how to do about things. And it just might well be that you need some professional intervention with that. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll be bringing out more videos like this. My name is Dr. Tosin, medical doctor, health coach, family man. I've got lots of videos out there now talking about health topics I do health coaching as well on the side, weight loss for people who are overweight. And um, I do podcasts where I interview top performers in their industry and getting them to do things. Thank you very much. Catch you on the next video.